Hi, I'm James Christmas, and today I'm going to tie a nyap. The nyap stands for Not Your Average Popper. It's a fly that I developed here in Alphonse Island around eight years ago. The original intention was to tie a better fly for catching giant trevally on the surface. The materials that you'll need for tying a nyap are a bucktail, various colors of SF fiber, as well as some fish scale, which is similar to a material called DNA. You also need some popping heads. You can either cut your popping heads out of foam yourself, or you can buy them pre-shaped. They are available in, in, the, in the fly shops already shaped. The materials that you use inside the tail are, are not critical. But what is important is that you have some sort of stiffer natural fiber, like for instance bucktail, at the base of the, the tail to support all the other synthetic materials. You should always try and use the longest bucktail you can get your hands on. The reason being you want to create quite a big profile on the surface, because the fish are obviously looking up at the fly. So the idea is to create as big a fly with, as, with the least amount of bulk as possible. So try and use the longest bucktail you can get your hands on. The next material I'm going to use here is this fish scale. I'm going to try and lay in as much of this silver flash as possible. The reason I use silver flash is that a lot of the prey species uh, have silver bodies that sort of reflect silver more than any other color. I'm going to try putting as much of the silver flash as possible. Okay, next, next I'm going to add some SF fiber just to bulk up the tail. Yeah, there is, there, there is a little bit of micro, micro flash of in, inside the SF material. Just going to put some darker colors on the top just to create a sort of darker dorsal profile. And the last material to uh, go into this fly is some of this barred fish scale. Again, it just adds a nice sort of more natural look to the fly. It's important uh, to try and create as, as sort of big a profile fly as possible. So I try and obviously use the synthetic materials to sort of give a, a, long, a long sort of profile. Uh, it's also very important to sort of taper cut the synthetic materials. So you try not to, to just give it, cut it just too straight an edge. The last part of the tying of this fly is to create a nice bed of thread over here. Reason being is we're going to super glue the foam popping head to the shank of the hook. So I'm going to lay down quite a lot of thread on the shank. It just creates a, it just creates a stronger and more durable fly. The next stage of tying the nyap is adding the foam popping head. 
as you can see here, the foam actually extends quite far past the bend of the hook. This is important for, for a particular reason. What you want to do is you want to support the tail. One of the big problems with tying very long flies is that you often get what is known as wrap when you're casting. So the nice thing with this longer foam is that it holds the tail away from the hook and prevents wrap. In order to connect this foam to the shank of the hook, what we're going to do is we're going to split, split the foam down the middle using a razor blade. When you cut the slit in the foam, it's important to start at the back of the, of the foam and then you're going to go, you want to make only one stroke, you want to cut with one motion forward. And we need to go in about close on a centimeter. Okay, once we've got this foam in place, we now are going to super glue everything. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a super glue known as Q-Bond. It works best with this foam material. I'm just gonna put a couple of drops in here. And what's important is that we squeeze the foam closed so that the Q-Bond actually reacts with the foam and creates a permanent bond. Okay, so now the, the popping edge is bonded nicely with the, the shank of the hook. And what's left is just to add the finishing touches. Uh, I like to use very big 15 mil stick-on eyes. So I'm gonna place those onto the fly. What's important to secure the stick-on eyes onto the foam is what we need to do is we actually have to use a bit of super glue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel, once I've got the position that I want, I'm just going to peel the eye back a little bit like this and just put a little bit of super glue in behind. This just makes ensures that the stick-on eye doesn't just fall off while you're casting or fishing. Okay, what's left is just to add the finishing touches. So I like to just mark my popping heads and I use uh, permanent markers and the ones that I'm gonna use are these Copic markers. is your basic near popper it's very simple to tie and you can basically create any color combinations and it's kind of up to you and your imagination and what you're trying to achieve